This is a jar of mayonnaise. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to One Quest. It is a roguelike that sort of reminds me of Dungeons of Dreadmore, except it's timed. I'll show you how it goes. You can pick from uh, different races, human, dwarf, elf, orc, Garuda, which is like a birdman. And then you've got your class, warrior, mage, priest, rogue. I think I'm gonna go priest. Yeah, priest is cool. And we'll go easy because this is a super hard game. The evil blood cult abduct, abduct nine children, including the princess. They will be sacrificed to summon the demon Ralnar Goth. King Zorak will say the ritual will begin in seven days, and will end nine days later with the death of the last child, which should be the princess. The king wants you to save the princess, and will reward you greatly if you succeed. Of course, a true hero would not let any innocent perish. So you can get through in seven days, but it, it's hard. Kids will die, that's all I'll say. The children will die, and nothing of value was really lost. So, <laughs> you can use your cursor, but it's a little wonky at the moment. If you decide to click things, you'll probably either move next to it or something random instead of attacking it. So I like to use the arrow keys, spacebar to pick things up. And this is a Cure Poison Potion, so I'll take that. Slash that Scorpion. What's this? Heal Potion? Bear Potion. Increases damage and accuracy in close combat for a short time. Uh-oh. Come at me, bros. Biaw! I'll let that guy come through, because I don't really need that health upgrade yet. Whoa, I'm gonna need it pretty shortly. Oop. Attacking diagonally is a little, a little weird. You might have to click. Just click very carefully. Because this is a turn-based game, but in the heat of combat, mistakes are made. Occasionally. Oh my god. Sucker puncher. Alright. Being super priestly. See if I could heal potions. I'm gonna save the bear potion actually. Blop. I loot this, press I for my inventory, and this is a long sword. It has 10 damage with a two hit bonus, so I'm gonna use that to replace my mace. Or can can paladins use, uh... Oh, yeah. Priests can use mace. Paladins can. Or something like that. There's a knife. Pretty nice. And a dagger. I will take them, but not use them. This javelin... Seems pretty cool. And get the chest. Ooh, a robe and an amulet of resistance. Take them. And the amulet is equipped automatically, but I already had the heavy training armor on, so if I want the robe, I'm gonna have to equip it. But it does not offer as much armor, and obviously I'm getting in people's faces. So let's go down to the next floor. Z to hit the next floor. Which, you know, um, if you have your hands your right hand on the arrow key and your left hand on Z in the space bar, it's pretty easy. But I like to mouse over things to see what they are. So it's a little difficult uh, to switch back and forth. Oh my god. Wow, I just got like totally molly walloped. That was awful. I'm gonna use my cure poison and a, a heal as well. 
Get away from me, zombie! Oh. Quite dangerous indeed. This is a jar of mayonnaise. No, just kidding. Eagle potion. Damage and accuracy in range combat. Which I don't really do. That guy does. Oh my god. What a jerk. I leveled up. Got a new power. So that is indeed pretty sweet. I'm gonna take these gloves to get some more armor. And they do have a longbow now. So that's nice. Oh, I equipped both of my weapons. And the javelin's here. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Everything's as I want it, and I didn't really have to touch a thing, which is nice. Boots automatically equipped, yep. Alright. So I think we got all that there is to see on the second level here. Let us avoid that trap and get out. Boop. Day one, victory! So, we'll head on to the second dungeon. You get a choice, more of a choice, as you get deeper in, and then less of a choice once you're halfway through. Uh, Eagle's Peak, you have a mission to complete in each one, so I have to find the air or earth altar if I pick that one. And then this one is the water or holy altar. Sometimes you have to, like, find a prisoner or, or recover an artifact. I'm going to go to the Eagle's Peak because I think that sounds cooler than just a water level. And scorpions abound. Come on, zombie. We can do the thing. If you won't. Oh, I better start throwing. Javelins. 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 Hit him. Hit him. Alright. Oh my god. A sprite. Kill the sprite! Kill the sprite! Kill the sprite! She missed me. These javelins are actually really good compared to, like, just a regular bow and arrow. I'm quite happy to have found them. And that's part- a, a large part of a roguelike is just, uh... Oop. Accepting the randomness. Those hearts went away. That sucks. I should have picked them up. Oh my god! Oh my god, they're everywhere! This is the end, gentlemen. Oh, Brutal. So brutal. Just got in over my head. So, that is one quest, ladies and gentlemen. It is quite a fun little roguelike, which, if it had some, uh... You can, you can change the key bindings and such, but if the default key bindings were better, I think it would be nice. Um, other than that, though, it's a really fun game. Retro graphics, which I really enjoy. And it's hard, which <laughs> would keep me playing it for a long time. So I hope you guys will check it out on Steam. It is releasing tomorrow, and I hope you guys will join me for whatever we decide to do next. This has been One Quest. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. See you guys next time. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.